Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm here in New York and I'm at JFK Airport in Terminal 4 and tonight I'm going to be flying over to Frankfurt uh, direct from JFK on Singapore Airlines. I'm going to be on their A380 and I'm going to be doing it in premium economy. It's supposed to be quite nice so why don't you come and have a look. Let's go. The line for the economy check-in desks was huge. Fortunately for me the premium economy has its own desks and there wasn't a queue for those. I thought I was winning until I found the TSA queue. The queue for TSA security is about four times the, the depth of the airport. That's crazy. Alright, so we're inside the JFK T4. Uh, I must admit that was one hell of a queue to get through uh, TSA on the way in. It took about an hour. And then when he got in, I walked down by the, the B gates, which is where Delta flies from. That was absolutely packed. I've never seen yeah. an airport as busy as that before. Anyway, we're in the A gates now. Uh, our A380 is on the stand. They've towed it across. And we should be boarding pretty soon, in about half an hour or so, on our way to Frankfurt. I'm really looking forward to it. So they consider going for a pint, because um, the bar down here in the A gates. Um, but it's packed in there. There's one guy behind the bar, and he looks like he's um, a bit out of control. So. I'll go thirsty until I get on the plane. Okay, we're boarding through the lower door. All the upstairs is business and first. This flight goes all the way to Singapore, but has a fifth freedom stop in Frankfurt, which is where I'll be getting off. The beauty of premium economy on the Singapore A380 is that it's at the front of the plane. And unlike most of the carriers with this cabin, you actually get an awesome view out of the window. Although to be fair, it is dark outside anyways. The seat itself looks really smart. You get a warm blanket, a nice big pillow, Water bottles in the centre console, which also holds the seat controls, remote control and the table. Along with a contactless payment tab. Not sure what that's for. Let me know if you know. There's even a slot for your phone. The headphones are branded with Singapore Airlines and are noise cancelling. I'm not sure who makes them, but they're pretty good. Please be reminded that wearing a face mask on this flight is compulsory. Thank you. Here's one of the headphones. You get um, these removable covers as well. and give you a fresh so you've not got anybody else's uh, earwax on you. It's quite good. It's looking nice on here, I tell you. <laughs> it's all gone quiet. <laughs> Pity about the masks. Again, my ears worn out from wearing masks. If you're flying in economy or premium economy on uh, Singapore Airlines, and you've got a Chris Flyer account, you book you book it to it, then you get free uh, messaging Wi-Fi um, for the for the flight, I believe. Put the back of your seat upright and keep your shoes on. If there is a change in cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will automatically drop in front of you. On behalf of Singapore Airlines, we hope you have a great time on board as well as in Singapore or anywhere else in the world we take you. Takeoff was just dark outside with not much to see, and as it's an A380, there wasn't much to hear either. I do like an A380. Our route today would take us out of New York, north over Boston and Newfoundland, and past Gloria Ridge. Does anybody know Gloria Ridge? And then we head across the Atlantic, over Ireland and Wales, past my house before we arrive in Frankfurt, bright and early in the morning.
Dinner was served very quickly after takeoff, and I had stir fried chicken with rice and vegetables, along with salad, cheese, and a roll. I had a go at everything, then got handed a lovely ice cream as a reward. Well, we've been in the air for just over an hour now. Um, dinner's been and gone. I had uh, a stir fry, Chinese stir fry, which for somebody like me who doesn't normally eat Chinese, that was quite nice. It's quite nice. The the vegetables were a bit spongy, um, probably frozen ones from somewhere. But uh, you can't have everything. And I'm just enjoying a, a tiger beer now. So yeah, it's really comfortable. The seat's comfortable. It's the in-flight entertainment screen is brilliant, really responsive. Um, I'll run through that for you in a bit. Uh, there's no mini ticket. I think I read that if you want something, ask them for it, which is a better way of doing it, I think, because then you're not wasting loads of stuff like a lot of other airlines do. The um, new releases, and you can see, it's Phase two, phase three. Big Bang Theory. Complete season, not just a couple. Yeah, there's plenty of content on there. There's enough for everyone that you've got games. Uh, moving map is yeah, pretty good. Uh, well, very good actually. Very nice moving map. Um, so I'm just going to indulge in that now for a bit until time to the loo and then fall asleep because we've only got about five hours 45 minutes left. It's short overnight, so you don't want to be hanging around too long if you want some sleep. The loo was a standard affair. Well looked after, but not in the same league as the huge ones upstairs on BA. Not a bad place to be if you need it. I had a short sleep and woke up to find the sun had beaten me to it, and breakfast was delivered. It was pretty simple, a hot chicken roll and a cup of green tea. I hadn't eaten dinner that long ago, so it suited me fine. Well, we're about an hour and 20 minutes out of um, Frankfurt, just about to pass over my house. I had uh, about three hours sleep on this flight. I mean, short overnights, East Coast US to uh, to Europe, you'd never get much sleep if you're eating and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I managed about three hours. All in all, seat ain't too bad. It's, um, it's comfortable. It feels a little bit high though when you're reclined, it's, uh, if you've got short legs like me, then yeah, it doesn't always reach the bottom properly. But maybe it's just me, the shape I am. But the good thing is my bum's not numb, which happens on a lot of uh, premium economy for me. So yeah, that's a good thing. It's cloudy over England today. So hopefully I'll brighten up this afternoon when I get home. Not much later, Frankfurt Airport came into view and we headed into land. And that was it, I've made it to Frankfurt and completed my around the world in eight days trip. I still had a short hop back to London Heathrow and BA to take, but I don't think I needed to film that. I'm not the biggest fan of short overnight flights, but on Singapore Airlines A380, it was pretty comfortable and the service from the cabin crew was excellent. The only downside I can think of was the vegetables with dinner. 
they were a bit grim but other than that I had a really good flight and as I mentioned earlier I do like an A380. Do you like them? I know there are fans and non-fans of them and I think it's a real shame that they're out of production now. They are really really comfortable aircraft. Anyway let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm off to grab a shower and some snacks in the Sakura lounge before I head home to Blighty. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out the rest of the series of Around the World in 8 Days. The link's on the screen now. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one.